With more and more streaming services adding Movies Mix and Dolby Atmos, we thought it would be fun to give you our top 10 movies that we love to watch to get the best experience. There are tons of awesome movies out there, but we wanted to focus on just 10 movies and a few specific scenes that we use in our theater showcases or to show off to our friends and family. Now, I'd encourage you to go into our comments section and leave a comment about what your favorite movie is to experience Dolby Atmos or your favorite scene. We'd love to talk to you about it. Now, let's get started. Coming in at number 10, we have Dune, specifically the Sandworm reveal. Dune sound designer Mark Mangini and team, along with the great film score composer Hans Zimmer, take this film's audio to the next level. Not only have they seamlessly integrated the film sounds with the score perfectly, it really comes to life with the use of Dolby Atmos. Director Denis Villeneuve approached this film's sound by not trying to make it sound like a movie, but instead sound like a documentary, capturing the sound as if you're actually there. He specifically focused on making the viewer feel as if they're in the world, instead of trying to impress the viewer with the sound effects. Like most on this list, the entire movie is great to experience Dolby Atmos at its finest, but if you want to jump into a scene to show off to a friend, you should check out the scene about an hour into the movie where the sandworm is revealed. The height speakers are utilized to make you feel like you're in the aircraft diving into the sandstorm. It's really well done, and once you experience this movie in Dolby Atmos, you won't want to watch it any other way. Coming in at number 9, we have Blade Runner. Now this entire movie has a great score that is mixed in an excellent way to show off Dolby Atmos. Specifically, the final scene with rain falling was really well done, making it feel as if you are there in the moment with rain overhead falling down onto you, engulfing you in water. As the car fills with water, you can feel all the metal creaking, and the water sound effects start to fill up and suffocate your surroundings. It feels as if you're struggling to stay above the water with them, along with the beautiful score mixed in. I noticed the subtle details of the score right above me coming down as the characters were fighting to move higher above the water. It was a really awesome feeling and a perfect mix with Dolby Atmos. Coming at number 8 we have Unbroken. The first scene in Unbroken has you hearing all the details of the rotor blades humming by you. From the guns to the creaking of the planes, it utilizes Atmos channels to help place objects all around you. This gave the director more freedom as to where he wanted things happening within the film with more locations to place them. Overall, a really great example of a well-made movie mixed in Dolby Atmos. Coming in at number 7 is Jordan Peele's second movie, Us. Opening in a carnival was an awesome experience to hear in Dolby Atmos. The games to the sides, the rides overhead, the food machines, everything just immersed you right into the movie right from the start. We were impressed hearing the dialogue right up front without compromising the height channels with all the rambunctious noises of a carnival. Even in the opening credits with the music stand out and the voices separate in the track extremely well. Now this movie was pretty spooky and the Atmos design is part of what really keeps you on edge for most of the scenes. This movie was an awesome movie to experience Dolby Atmos in. Coming in at number six we have Bohemian Rhapsody. Now I want you to go jump to the final performance and more specifically listen to We Are The Champions. The sound designers of this movie worked with Queen's sound engineers to use a 16 track archive recording and play the film tracks back in an empty stadium with 22 microphones which captured all the PA ambiance. Little details like this make this entire performance sound outstanding and totally realistic. The soundtrack and sound effects changed and matched every camera angle spot on. Using object-based audio with Dolby Atmos made you feel like you were actually standing there behind Freddie's piano on stage or down in the crowd listening live for the very first time. As the camera flies over the stage and moves into the crowd, you feel the audio move with it and it's a really cool sensation if you've never experienced Atmos before. All of the little details you don't think about are included in this mix, which is why it feels like you're actually there with them. This felt about as close as you could get to actually experiencing this concert in real life. Coming in at number 5 is The Matrix. The Matrix has always been an awesome movie to show off your speakers. It's a classic with a ton of cool effects and great scenes. When Warner Brothers remastered it, they decided to add Dolby Atmos sound effects and it did not disappoint. I'd bet most people have seen this movie at some point in their life, but if you get the chance to watch it in a high quality Dolby Atmos setup, I promise it feels like you're watching a completely different movie. The scene we recommend is the obvious lobby shootout scene. It has amazing sound effects and it's just outstanding. If you want to show off your new Dolby Atmos setup, just start the movie from this scene and enjoy all the bullets flying right by your ears. Movie number four is A Quiet Place, and more specifically, the scene where Emily Blunt gives birth. Now John Krasinski made a super fun movie that has a lot of great thrills and performances by 
every actor and actress. The family must stay quiet in order to survive, which gives the entire movie an eerie feeling of silence during many scenes. When Emily Blunt gives birth, she has to stay completely silent and make her way upstairs to a bathtub so the monster doesn't detect where she is. You can hear every breath she takes along with the powerful footsteps of the monster creeping around below her. It feels as if you're there with Emily and you can hear the monster moving around in the Atmos channels just waiting to strike. I have to say, when I watched this movie without Atmos, it just wasn't the same. The way the monster's clicking sound effects crept over my head had me checking my back to make sure there wasn't an actual monster in the room with me. It was just so realistic. The entire scene is so quiet, yet so powerful, and it's a great example of how Atmos can increase how immersive a movie can be without being a thunderous loud scene. It's a really fun movie, and I totally recommend watching it with Dolby Atmos. Movie number three is A Star Is Born. Specifically, go listen to the song Shallow. Originally, Bradley Cooper was skeptical about using Dolby Atmos in this movie. They decided to test the movie with a Dolby Atmos mix, and Cooper was blown away when he heard the dramatic difference in Lady Gaga's vocals during the Shallow performance. Cooper and Stephen Morrow, the sound director, worked closely together to create a vision for where the sound would be in relation to the camera movement. So, if you were to move closer to the drums, you'd hear them a little louder versus the electric guitar, Morrow said. I've seen this movie a few times before without Dolby Atmos, and the performances will still rock your room and make you feel like you're actually really watching it live. But adding that extra dimension made me feel like I was actually on stage during the performance. It has to be one of my favorite musical Dolby Atmos performances. Coming in at number two is Gravity, specifically the opening scene. Now, Gravity takes place in space where astronauts have their mission interrupted by orbiting debris from a Russian satellite that exploded. The opening scene is quiet with some good dialogue that changes with the camera angles and really makes you feel the movement of George Clooney as he circles Sandra Bullock talking to everyone through his radio. It settles you into the openness of floating in space. Now when debris start flying toward them, you can feel these and hear these pieces go by and impact the ship in such a realistic way that you almost think you're floating around with them. The entire sound design is absolutely incredible in this movie, and it's a brilliant use of Dolby Atmos that puts you right in the middle of outer space. And finally, movie number one that we love to use is Ready Player One. One of our favorite scenes to test out in a home theater is the first race scene from Ready Player One. We love this one because if you've never experienced Dolby Atmos, it makes it really easy to locate and see how the sounds move. The race is loud, chaotic, extremely fast paced. With so much happening all at once, it can be hard to hear every detail and you just end up feeling overwhelmed at the end of the powerfulness in this scene. But by utilizing object-based Dolby Atmos, they created a way to feel each piece of the action in different parts of the room, and they did an amazing job. It's absolutely incredible to watch. I highly recommend, go watch Ready Player One. Now, if you have a favorite movie that didn't make this list or a favorite scene, go leave it in the comments below. We'd love to discuss and see what your favorite scenes are and see if we can add some new ones to our list. At Audio Advice, we build, design, and install personal home theaters and homes nationwide. As more movie streaming platforms start to offer more content in Dolby Atmos, you're gonna wanna upgrade your home theater or your soundbar to be ready for this great new standard. If you have any questions about these movies or the scenes that we just talked about, or if you have any questions about home audio or your home theater gear and how you can set it up to take full advantage of the cool 3D Atmos features to all these new streaming platforms, just give us a call, chat with us on audioadvice.com or stop into one of our award-winning showrooms. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.